and they're off. Bust off straight to the front. The outside of Warry Sky with some early speed, and you like that is right there, too. And here's Kid Jeter to the rail up close as part of the pace as well. Now settles at the inside in third position. As you like that is back and forth of the two path. They're followed by Wildly Clever in fifth, and Baron with clear sailing three wide of the turn. Conquest Falcon has worked over two wide into the first turn run and seven off that pace. They are followed by Just Steve and Roman Warrior. The two in the back. Roman Warrior last at about nine from the front. Very slow opening quarter mile, 24.50. As Bustoff leads the way by a neck from a Warry Sky, prompting mildly from the outside. Kid Jeter, the favorite, racing in third position on the outside is Baron fourth, now passing you like that. Inside is wildly clever. Conquest Falcon still seven or eight off of pace, and just Steve and Roman Warrior trailing the field. Heading into the turn, bust off at a Warry Sky, still one two. After a 48.64 half mile, it's two lengths back, and Kid Jeter's got every chance from there in third. Kid Jeter out there now, three deep and bidding toward that lead. Also, Conquest Falcon getting underway under Edgar Zayas on the inside of Baron. And so the two lengths back and next is Roman Warrior who's passed the tailing off. You like that. Wildly clever. And last is Just Steve. Top of the stretch. A Warry Sky. Kid Jeter is set down in the center of the course. A Warry Sky. Kid Jeter squaring off of the final furlong and a Warry Sky. A Warry Sky's in front a length and a half. Kid Jeter trying to get by. Another furlong to do it. It's a Warry Sky and Rosario Montanez opening up a Warry Sky. A birthday win for trainer Beth Horton. A Warry Sky and a double for Wasabi. Another Wasabi win. Kid Jeter was second. Conquest Falcon was third. Then Baron and Wildly Clever.